Hello students, this is Professor Tara Mathi Nakod from Government First Grade College, Kungol. Welcome back to the consignment account class. Today we are going to discuss invoice price method in that how the abnormal loss is treated. Okay. Now, let us take a simple problem to understand this. Karthik of Haveri consigned 400 boxes of tea powder, each box containing 15 kg to Nayak of Belgami at an invoice price which is 25% of cost. The cost per box is 600. He paid rupees 1600 for freight and rupees 400 for insurance. Nayak received the consignment and paid 800 for clearing charges and also accepted two months bill for 50,000 advance. After three months, Nayak reported as follows. 75 kg of a tea powder were destroyed by fire means it is abnormal loss and nothing is received from the insurance company means it is completely shown in consignment account as a loss. He sold 210 boxes at 800 per box on credit. 90 boxes sold at Rs. 775 rupees per box for cash. His other expenses were salary 5000, selling expenses 4000. He sent demand draft after deducting his commission at Rs. 10 per box sold. 20% of any excess price realized above the invoice price. Prepare the necessary accounts in the books of the consigner. Okay. Now, first let us understand what are the calculations required. First, calculation of invoice price for a per box of tea powder consigned. So, cost price is as we already know it is 600 for each box. Excess price of a loading that is 25% of cost. It is 150. So, the invoice price is nothing but cost price plus loading that is invoice price will come to 750 per box. Okay. Now, let us make the calculation of abnormal loss. So, when you are doing calculation of a, uh, abnormal loss, you have to take it at a cost price. So, Cost price of abnormal loss, 5 boxes, or the 75 kg, so the 5 boxes. So, per box, num grade got today, 5 box into 600 rupees, and 3000. Add proportionate non decree expenses. So, est expense, 2800 was expense for 400 boxes, but for five boxes it will come to 35 so total abnormal loss it is calculated at cost is 3035 calculation of stock on consignment now let us see how much is there in the closing stock so in the closing stock 95 boxes are remaining okay and you have to show it at invoice price so invoice price is 95 box into 750 it is 71,250. So, proportionate expenses for 95 it is 665. So, stock on consignment. Total commission calculation. Now, this is very tricky. So, you just you have to understand. Ordinary commission is uh, 10. He says he is charging 10 rupees a, a, as an ordinary com as an ordinary commission. Okay. So, he sold 300 boxes. So, per box it is 3000 3, rupees. Okay, you take total is 3000. 20% on excess price realized above the invoice price. Okay, now let us see how much excess he has uh, earned. Uh, means how much excess amount he has realized over and above the invoice price. Now, let us just see how much sales he has made and what is the value of his sales. So, on credit, he has sold 210 boxes for 800. So, the total value come to 1,68,000. So, on cash, he has sold 90 boxes 
and it was for 775 so it is the value so actual value of his sales is 270 sorry 237750 so now actually ignored it invoice price is so total 300 box made invoice price new to gondre adhe stock to 225000 Aunu other hitching game maridane, hitching a rating maridane. So you can use difference tagre, yes, hitching a maridu So two lakh thirty seven thousand seven fifty was his actual sales, but invoice price was two lakh twenty five thousand according to invoice price. So you just try to excess how much he has realized over and above the invoice prices twelve thousand seven fifty. So he twelve thousand seven fifty in the other twenty percent now in Martane commission and the. Okay, so total commission due to him is 5550. Okay, so now let us see the necessary accounts. So, as we were doing it in earlier problem, so invoice price of total goods sent is 3 lakhs, then consigner expense, consignee expense, working notal in a node is commission, total commission payable to consignee okay now here you can see the total sales made by the consignee that we have calculated just now abnormal loss 3035 just calculated not really insurance you claim so poor the amount and now abnormal loss on the Thursday okay then our stock on consignment account with a closing stock next Buy goods sent on consignment account. And this is goods sent sent. This is stock. This is the stock reserve. This is goods sent. This is the loading. So, loading. This is calculate. 400 box per box. 150 profit. So, this is the total. Calculate. 60,000. Okay. So, now you can see. This is the invoice price. This loading. This is closing stock. This is the loading and stock reserve. So, consignment of stock closing stock is 95 boxes. So, per box loading is 150. So, it is 14,250. And the profit is 41,100. Okay. Now, consignment account. Okay. We will see. It is very simple. First, you have to show the total sales made by him. Expenses. Commission then bills receivable what he has given to us then amount payable by him that is 1,72,400 okay now this is good sent account so in that you can see the total amount what he has shown it as at a invoice price 3 lakh loading gain is cancel after the 60,000 only the cost is transferred to trading at profit and loss account that is 2,40,000 Okay, now you can see the abnormal loss account also. So, consignment only noted 3035. And now, so this is now ultimately profit and loss account again transfer. So, this is the poor loss. Okay, then closing stock is now consignment account in the balance carried down and brought down to the next year. Stock reserve account is now. So, you got stock reserve and I'm guest when they consignment only 14,250 other than carried on with the daughter okay so it was all about the first problem now let us take another problem basav raj of bangalore consigned 1000 cycles costing rupees 400 each at an invoice price of uh, rupees 5 lakhs to be now bijapur and spent 10,000 towards Packing insurance freight charges. Basavaraj also received 1 lakh as an advance from Bina. Bina is entitled to an ordinary commission at 10% and Dell Credit Commission of 5% on the gross sales. Bina also incurred expenditure of 10,000 towards sales and advertisement. Bina sent an account sales which shows the following. Okay. 100, uh, 600 cycles are sold for cash 150 cycles on credit both at 600 per cycle Bina sent the balance amount through bank draft after deducting her commission and other 
charges prepare necessary accounts in the books of the consignor okay so first calculation of invoice price for per cycle okay so 5 lakh ge es cycle annu kalistha idare 1000 cycle andre per cycle es taakta idu 500 so cost is given that is 400 so loading per cycle is 100 okay then i uh, will make a calculation of stock then invoice price of a unit in stock yes namalle stock ulita ide ant heli so namalle 250 stock ulita ide just we'll see it again how it is there okay so 1000 cycles na en madidare send madidare hauda so adralli en aagta ide uh, 150 cycle uh, matte 600 cycle andre 750 cycle en aagta ide sale aagta ide hauda so you can see 750 1000 alli tagade 250 ulita ide hauda so 250 into 500 anta torsidre esto 1,25,000 okay so now you can see the proportionate non recurring expense added to this okay total will come to 1,27,500 calculation of total commission okay ordinary is 10% and del credit commission is 5% okay on the gross sales now you can see the goods sent it is shown at a invoice price okay then consignor expenses consignee expenses then consignee commission it is already we have calculated then so here you see this is at invoice price the loading of this should be shown it as a uh, good sent on consignment loading on goods sent so how many go uh, ido cycle send madi dar andre 1000 cycle ide adralli per cycle nan helide agle 100 rupees enide loading ide andre adu 1 lakh rupees is loading on goods sent aagutade okay now come here total sales nodi avanu 600 en madi dane 600 cycles na 600 per cycle maridre adu 360000 aagta ide Credit to 150 sales at the Madidana cycle, so this is 90,000 total, 4,50,000 after them. So, you know, stock on consignment, closing stock, Aglenano, calculation mark, or Sidney, 1,27,500 after them. So, this is loading, okay. Uh, then, Illinois, the difference amount is profit transfer to profit and loss account. So, this is closing in the day, either the closing stock in the loading, Saha, Illinois. Okay, so 250 in the consignment stock other the loading in the Okay, so consign account not on so consign account only first sales and a third how much he has sold it is on the debit side 450,000. Then consignment account expenses made by consignee 10,000. Consignment account only new in a commission and the third side so due to the consigning 67500 advance he has given is 1 lakh and amount payable by the consignee to the consigner 272500 rupees okay this is clear now good sent okay so it is shown at a invoice price less loading here on the opposite side okay then total is a cost price that is 4 lakh transfer to trading account stock so again you show it here then the balance carried on and next year brought down stock reserve also it's a credit balance okay then take it carry it down on the debit side and brought down again on the credit side in the books of pina you can see the basavraj account that is consignor account so for consignor you can show how much goods sold so here the goods sold for 4 lakh 50 thousand rupees okay and from that you have to deduct your expenses etc okay so you have made these expenses commission due to you and advance amounts is 1 lakh rupees then the bank this the total amount sent to the consignor 
as a settlement amount okay so with this we have discussed the treatment of loading when the goods are sent at invoice price i think this problem is very clear to you with this we are going to close today's class okay till then thank you